Hey guys, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. And we're still on a kick of doing fish. My buddy Charles Womack. He's from the USA, good side, the other side of the fence of us. Said to me, keep on doing what you're doing with the fish. Because he really liked that. And he says, I'm doing good. You know, as long as I get one person complimenting me, I'm happy. <laughs> Let me turn you around and show you what we're doing. All right, so today we're deciding to do some perch. Perch, of course, out here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, is a big deal. We love our yellow perch. I did one before, but I made them way too green. Uh, I think it was too fresh. Uh, I don't know if I have any pictures of that one. I gave it to my brother, which he gave it to his grandson, which his grandson just loves it. Of course, kids love this kind of stuff. So we're making a couple of perch. So we got some cedar wood here. Thick enough. This is like the two inch. Uh, I think we have him. Oh, God. Oh, where's my tape measure? Okay. Well, we're going to take a guess because I don't know where my tape measure is. We're going to give him about 14 inches, maybe 12, 14 inches. If I find my tape measure, I'll let you guys know. I don't know what the hell I did with it somewhere. Anyway, so we got the look of two swimming fish, you know, swimming the opposite ways. His tail goes inwards his tail goes or outwards his tail goes inwards these would be two simple carvings um very basic fish they're you know they got some good detail for coloring that's one thing and then their fins you know their fins are really like wow you touch these suckers they're sharp as razors uh they'll be more detailed inwards not just like my normal guy here where i just kind of you know played around with it um again not competition style just basically something to look at if you love fish and i love fish because i think it's a it's you know it's not a simple thing but it's not uh it's not heart surgery we always say that eh? not brain surgery heart surgery so we're gonna get you set up we're gonna take out the fordham tool and we're gonna round our fish off let me get that on. all right guys today's video is and will be sponsored by and as i say sponsored because i am the affiliate to this new brand it's called tai tai tools we're using the three millimeter or the 0 0.118 inch tungsten carbide birds um you can look on amazon for them just do me a favor don't return them this is ridiculous how much of people like we are getting a bunch of them because we are the affiliate where they send it through canada when people return them ridiculous why people buy stuff and return them like that like these are great tools uh if there is any problems you know you can contact them uh they're a great company the guy's super honest and generous we're using the bigger burr for it i mean you can see they're that much bigger I and mean, three millimeter pretty big burr very aggressive um yes so we have a range of them here here that we're using uh today we will try the cylinder uh it says with end cut so that will basically what we're doing is we are going to start rounding off our fish with these burrs um, let's get into it here. Let's check it out. So a little bit of noise, but we'll be okay. So you can see that these burrs, let me stop that for a second. These burrs are super aggressive. Like, come on. As the difference between the name brands that we use, Cutsall, Sabretooth, um, they are bigger in sizes. Of course, you can get smaller ones. You know, you can get the same um, three mils, if that's what you want to use in millimeters. You could use them too. But I'm just showing it that there are different... Um, there are different, say, brands out there that are good to use. And these are for, and I'll tell you, if you're just starting into woodworking, um, it's, they're expensive. Um, they can run you up a couple bucks. I've seen, well, I know for the cut saws, like, I mean, you could pay $20, $30 for, for a burr, for one burr. And uh, you'll be amazed how much uh, they come out and, and how they work. They're very good. Or you can, if you just want to start trying out, or if you're on a lure or a budget, 
like I said, these tie tie tools are great. You know, shoot me a message if you want in the comment. Leave me a comment about them if you're interested. I have a couple here that I can actually I can resell, but not at their prices. I will bring that down dramatically for for what we want. Um, you know, like a whole kit like this, I think is about thirty forty dollars for a kit like this, and that's that's with the uh, what is there like. 12 of them? No, wait. 2, 4, 6, 8. I think there's 8 or 10 burrs. It's 10 pieces. 10 pieces in a pack. You got everything in this. And they come in this size. And of course, they come in the smaller um, size. But 10 pack also. These are the, the 1 8 solid. And it says on them solid tongue sign carbide burrs. They're designed in the UK. So I mean, you know, this is what he has written on there. I'm not telling you any other shit to it. So you could use them on a Dremel. You could use them on your Fordham. You could use them on any kind of rotary tool, I guess, except for like a huge grinder. Um, but, you know, I've uh, I've used them and I really like them. And I, I will promote them to you guys. If you're interested, shoot me a message and I'll either show you where to get them if you want to go through their store, which is perfect. Or, you know, I could, like I said, I could probably sell them myself because they are sent to me and I could do whatever I want with them as they said. Now, if there's an issue with it, there's no returns back to me. Of course, if you bust them, you hog them out, uh, you use them on something you shouldn't use them on. Like they say that you could use them. Well, they're still, you know, they're, they're made. Some of them are made for cutting and steel and that, but we're carvers. We're not steel carvers. We're carvers. We're wood. This is actually a soft wood, um, but I've tried the hardwoods and they cut through it. You just got to take your time and be careful. Be mindful of what you're doing. So anyway, we're going to keep on doing this. Um, I'll shape them out and then come back to you because I'll be editing them anyway. You have too much shape carving. I want to get them a little bit like they look still like a 2 by 4 or a 4 by 6 I want to get that nice round edge out of them. So let me get that and I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm pissed. You know what? Razor tip. You guys garbage, man. I've had this for a couple of years, maybe five years at the most. Fucking garbage, man. Like These things don't work. Their tips are shit. Oh, unless you're watching me, Razor Tip, I'm not buying anything from you guys again. I know people are going, oh, my Razor Tips work all the time. They're great. You know what? I don't care. This is me doing my business, and this is crap. I'd rather do it my way. I'll turn you around. Right, so I got this far with burning. These are their tips. You know, whatever. It doesn't even look like a tip, like a fish to me, like a scale. And then it just wouldn't work. It's fucking garbage. I'm going to sand all that out. I'm going to my punch. Look at that. Look how beautiful that punch is. It's probably not the right thing. I just made my own. I use this for my snakes. I use this for whatever. And I've done this faster than I can even do that. Urgh, garbage. Okay. Anyway, yeah, a little bit of a rant for them. I'm sure, you know what, Razor Tip, I, like, I'm sure they, their machines are great and everything. And, and this one is, I got this given to me a while back. You know, like I said, five years ago. It did serve its purpose, but I mean, you know, even if I call them up, they're going to say, well, send it to us. Well, I don't want to send it to you, but I don't want to pay for fixing this shit. You know, it shouldn't happen. I am not hard on my tools. These things twist. They break fast. You know, like they're not made to last, right? Everything's made to break it, so you have to pay for it. Uh, so anyway, easy solution. I'm just going to punch them. It's my art. I can do this. This is way better. It's faster. I can get like 20 rows done by the time I can even heat up this damn thing. I always said, oh, it's great because, you know, I can cook chicken on it. When it works, yeah. All right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to punch that out. And then I'm going to sand that down. I'm going to redo it. And I'm going to show you how, how it's going. It's just, it's a little flustering right now. You know, I apologize if I'm swearing and giving shit the razor tip about their stuff. But, oh, I wish they would have, I would have something better. Like, Made in Canada, my ass. All right, All let's right. go. I'm gonna show you guys what I just did. Would it take me about uh, at least three days of burning, or at least six hours? I did in less than, well, I'd say less than an hour with my punch. Like they're not perfect, but then again, we'll see what they look like. Um, see better what they look like when they're painted. I could take the uh, torch and and burn them. That'll give little deep grooves, but. I don't know. We'll see. See how I feel. Anyway, um, break time. That's uh, end of the day for me. So I'm going to shut this off as uh, part one. Because these are going to be two fish. I still got the fins to do. And again, obviously painting. 
so uh and then the base so let's see how this looks and uh, remember if i could do it you could do it stay tuned for part two thanks guys thanks for watching